modern biologists strongly believe that life was originated in the remote past from interaction of various chemical substances. On this basis, it, there was a theory that was proposed by Oparin and Halden, and it was named as Oparin Halden hypothesis. According to this theory, the origin of life took place from simple inorganic substances Now, these substances could be transformed into colloidal system that was used to produce life. The transformation of inorganic substance was done by the to the colloidal system that helped in the formation of life or origin of life. However, various stages in this process of origin of life were proposed. Let us study this. The first that was proposed on the basis of chemical and was named as chemical evolution. This chemical evolution included many like how did the origin of ores occur? How did the formation of water, ammonia and methane occur? Following it was formation of macromolecules and micromolecules. That is, initially the micromolecule form which together combine to form a complex form of molecule that is macromolecules. Following it occurred the formation of nucleic acid and nucleoprotein. Let us study each of them beginning with the origin of life from the origin of earth. In this, it was scientifically established that earth was first formed from the sun due to fragmentation. That is, Earth was formed from the fragmented Sun. That was about 5000 million agars. That is 5000 million years ago. In this theory, the fragmented sun was described as a glowing fire that contained a molten mass of gases and vapors of various elements.
that is the basic composition of sun was a molten mass of gases and vapors of various elements now that is very obvious that if earth was formed from such a fragmented sun that was described in such a manner then that is very obvious that the earth would also be very hot or would possess extremely high temperature which was of about 5000 to 6000 degrees celsius that is the temperature here was about 5000 to 6000 degrees celsius however with the time the earth moved away from the sun then that is very obvious that as the distance between earth and sun increased the earth start to cool down and as a result the gases got condensed that is the condensation of gases occurred following which various substances got into their elemental form and got differentiated on the basis of their size therefore heavy elements and light elements were formed these heavy elements included iron nickel and many others which formed the core of the earth that is the central part of the earth while the light elements like helium hydrogen oxygen carbon and many others occupied the atmosphere of the earth that is they formed the atmosphere of the earth in this manner heavy and light elements got separated thus it was proposed that life was originated from these elements that is heavy and light now the chemical changes that lead to the formation of life was called molecular evolution or chemical evolution of the origin of life thus these chemical changes that led to the formation of life was described as chemical evolution or molecular evolution of the origin of life now the second concept or the second step following the origin of earth in chemical evolution was formation of water methane and ammonia molecule as said earlier that the primitive earth as formed from the fragmented sun was initially at very high temperature which gradually cooled down and got condensed on this basis it was supposed that the primitive earth 
that is the initial form of earth contains large amount of hydrogen oxygen nitrogen and carbon out of all these only hydrogen was active in nature and hydrogen was such a compound that was initially involved and much active in the chemical reaction and chemical actions that involved equations therefore on this basis these different molecules interacted with each other and especially hydrogen to form compounds let us say oxygen that is o2 when combined with hydrogen that is h form water which was h2o molecule following it the second component or the element was nitrogen n2 combined with hydrogen that is h and together formed ammonia that is nh3 the third element was carbon that is c combined with hydrogen h2 to give methane that is ch4 Then these three were the molecules, that is water, ammonia, and methane, that were initially and the first three formed components of the earth. But since initially the temperature of earth was very high, that is about 5,000 to 6,000 degrees Celsius, these elements remained in the gaseous form, that is ammonia and methane remained in the gaseous form or gaseous element, while water acts as a steam component. that is water remains in the steam form ammonia and methane remained in the gas form and therefore acted as gaseous elements or molecules but gradually over time as the atmosphere of the earth cooled down thereby the steam that was steam of water got condensed to form water molecule in form of droplets however these droplets were generally in the rain form but vice versa that is on the second time when the earth atmosphere again got hot or very high temperature then this water droplets got converted into steam and therefore this reaction was reversible depending on the temperature conditions similarly methane and ammonia which was initially in the gaseous form got converted into mineral salts which got in combination with water which led into the formation of various water side bodies like 
river, sea, streams, lakes, and many others. In this manner, the all the three components or molecules that is water, methane, and ammonia together combined to form various minerals and mineral salt that was embedded within the rock. That is, minerals got embedded within the rock. That was present within the sea water. In this manner, it was proposed that the first chemicals, that is water, ammonia and methane, were first developed on the earth. 